All right, today we got a call out for this train RTAE. Uh, was not coming online first thing this morning, and it had multiple alarms on there. It had no evaporator, temperature, circuit two, calm loss, evap leaving water temp, calm loss, uh, uh, entering water temperature, calm loss AFD 2A, and down the list, everything was just calm loss. So usually that means you have some type of short or something in these cables. So how we approached it, uh, yeah, a lot of guessing. So I would go into the binding view, see what uh, uh, devices were registering. I think we had like two out of 33 that were actually registering. So the approach was just started at the beginning here. Replaced uh, some of the cables that I thought were the worst looking ones. Because um, we could light up the, the devices. Most all of them would get lit up. But we could not bind them for nothing. So like you see there, this one's a uh, single of the three. I started with that one. Not much happened. Came down here a little bit further and disconnected. Uh, up to this point. And then bam, we started getting some devices which show that they were bound. So we just continued on trial and error, doing a few other cables disconnected here. We got a few more on. Ended up changing out supply or leaving and uh, entering water temp sensors replace this cable one to two and just about everything came back online as far as circuit two is concerned and circuit one is actually the only circuit that does run right now I'll show you why because Ain't got no drive in it. So circuit two is actually got a back compressor. So train did come out here and do the service on it. Uh, when we were having that problem, they took the drive from here, put it into circuit one because circuit one had a failed drive. So yeah, we're running on half a chiller here. So anyways, making our way back here to circuit one, I got everything to come online except for a few devices here. So I ended up changing this cable here. This one and this one is a single to two. And we were able to bind all the rest of the sensors on here, transducers. And then the last thing that needed to be bound was the drive here. Once that got bound, chiller restarted minus circuit two because of the obvious. And then, thankfully, it did come back online. It's struggling to keep up. It has uh, currently 51 degree leaving water, 55.7, and building is under a full load for sure so, how much we can do about that uh, just let it recover but you can see they've already stripped the insulation off we're going to start uh, the process of replacing this chiller it's a 150 ton train RTAE and I believe from what I know they're putting a daikin in here 160 ton air cooled and uh, this unit's about 10 years old here it's outlived its life. So once the compressor failed and the drive, the costs just keep increasing and increasing, and it's time to go. So here's another look at that drive. Uh, so like I said, this drive was over here. They just flip flopped them. Definitely there was some, definitely some short and out going on down there. Now this still has power, um, nothing powered here. 
But um, this is the this is the end. It's goodbye to this train. And uh, don't know the exact time frame, but it's getting closer every week. And I imagine in the next two to three weeks, hopefully we'll have a new chiller here. From what I hear, they're just waiting on the permit. And we're keeping it going the best we can. All right, guys. Thought you might find it interesting. And I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching. And yeah, this is the chiller from my previous videos that uh, tried to self-destruct and blew the uh, condenser fan motor. Uh, blade blew apart and stuck into the walls up here. This be the one.